Attention Canadian retirees. A major boost to your monthly income is just around the corner. Find out how you could receive over $4,000 in combined CPP and GIS payments starting this Monday. Stay tuned to learn if you qualify and how to claim your share. Canadian retirees have reason to celebrate as a significant increase in government support is on the horizon. The upcoming direct payments from the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, and Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, programs are set to provide a substantial financial boost to eligible seniors across the country. With a combined potential payout of $3,300 in CPP benefits and an additional $750 in GIS payments, many retirees are eagerly anticipating this Monday's deposit. This unprecedented increase in financial support comes at a crucial time when many seniors are grappling with rising living costs and economic uncertainties. The Canada Pension Plan, a cornerstone of the country's retirement income system, has long been a reliable source of support for seniors. However, recent adjustments to the program have resulted in a noteworthy increase in the maximum monthly benefit. The $3,300 figure represents the upper limit of what a retiree might receive, based on their contributions throughout their working years and the age at which they choose to start receiving benefits. It's important to note that not all seniors will receive the maximum amount, as individual circumstances vary widely. Complementing the CPP payments is the Guaranteed Income Supplement, a program designed to provide additional financial assistance to low-income seniors in Canada. The $750 GIS payment represents a significant boost to this crucial support system, reflecting the government's commitment to ensuring a dignified quality of life for all Canadian retirees. This supplement is particularly important for those who may not have had the opportunity to contribute substantially to the CPP during their working years or who face higher living expenses in their retirement. The timing of these payments is particularly significant. As the cost of living continues to rise across Canada, many seniors find themselves struggling to make ends meet. Essentials such as housing, food, and healthcare have seen steady price increases, putting pressure on fixed incomes. The enhanced CPP and GIS payments are intended to help alleviate some of this financial strain, providing retirees with a bit more breathing room in their monthly budgets. It's worth delving into the specifics of how these payments are calculated and distributed. The Canada Pension Plan is a contributory program, meaning that the amount a retiree receives is directly related to how much they paid into the system during their working years. Employees and employers both contribute to the CPP, with self-employed individuals responsible for both portions. The amount of the contribution is based on the employee's earnings, up to a maximum annual limit known as the year's maximum pensionable earnings, YMPE. The calculation of CPP benefits takes into account the average of a person's contributions relative to the YMPE over their entire working life, from age 18 to when they start receiving their pension. This period is known as the contributory period. The standard age to start receiving CPP is 65, but individuals can choose to start as early as 60 or as late as 70. Starting early results in a permanent reduction in monthly benefits, while delaying increases the monthly amount. The $3,300 figure mentioned likely represents the maximum monthly CPP retirement pension for someone who has consistently contributed the maximum amount throughout their career and has chosen to start receiving benefits at age 70. It's important to emphasize that this is not a typical scenario, and most retirees will receive a lower amount. The average CPP payment is considerably less, often falling between $600 and $1,200 per month. As for the Guaranteed Income Supplement, this non-taxable monthly benefit is available to low-income seniors who receive the Old Age Security OAS, pension. The amount of GIS a person receives depends on their marital status and income. Single seniors with an annual income, excluding OAS and GIS, below a certain threshold are eligible for the full supplement, while those with higher incomes may receive a partial amount or may not qualify at all. The $750 GIS payment mentioned in the headline likely refers to a special one-time payment or a temporary increase in the regular monthly amount. Such increases are sometimes implemented by the government in response to economic challenges or as part of broader efforts to support vulnerable populations. It's crucial for seniors to stay informed about these occasional boosts to ensure they don't miss out on additional support they may be entitled to receive. The combined impact of these payments can be substantial for many Canadian retirees. For those receiving both the maximum CPP and the full GIS amount, the total monthly income from these two sources alone could exceed $4,000.
This level of support can make a significant difference in the quality of life for seniors, potentially allowing for better housing, improved nutrition, access to necessary medical care, and the ability to engage in social and recreational activities that contribute to overall well-being. However, it's important to recognize that these payments, while substantial, may still fall short of meeting all the financial needs of some retirees. The cost of living varies widely across Canada, with some urban areas, particularly in provinces like British Columbia and Ontario, presenting significant challenges in terms of housing affordability and other expenses. Retirees in these high-cost areas may find that even with the enhanced CPP and GIS payments, they still need to carefully budget and potentially seek additional sources of income or support. This reality underscores the importance of comprehensive retirement planning. While government programs like CPP and GIS provide a crucial foundation, they are intended to be part of a broader retirement income strategy. Financial advisors often recommend a three-pillar approach to retirement savings, government benefits, employer-sponsored pension plans, where available, and personal savings and investments. For current retirees, staying informed about changes to these programs is crucial. The government typically communicates updates through various channels, including mail, online portals, and public announcements. Seniors are encouraged to regularly review their benefit statements and to reach out to Service Canada or consult the official government website for the most up-to-date information on their entitlements. The upcoming Monday payments also serve as a reminder of the importance of financial literacy among seniors. Understanding how to effectively manage and budget these increased funds can help ensure they have the maximum positive impact. Many community organizations and financial institutions offer workshops and resources specifically tailored to helping seniors make the most of their retirement income. These can cover topics such as budgeting, avoiding financial scams, and exploring options for additional income or benefits. However, the increased payments also raise questions about the long-term sustainability of these programs. As Canada's population continues to age, with a larger proportion of citizens entering retirement age, there is ongoing debate about how to ensure that programs like CPP and GIS remain financially viable for future generations. This demographic shift presents challenges in terms of maintaining the balance between contributions from current workers and benefits paid out to retirees. The government has taken steps to address these long-term sustainability concerns. For example, the CPP enhancement that began phasing in in 2019 is designed to increase the amount of retirement income the plan provides, aiming to replace one-third of a person's average work earnings, up from the previous one quarter. This change is being gradually implemented over several years to minimize the immediate impact on workers and employers. As for the guaranteed income supplement, its funding comes from general tax revenues rather than from a dedicated fund like the CPP. This means that its sustainability is closely tied to the overall fiscal health of the federal government. Policymakers must continually balance the need to provide adequate support for low-income seniors with the broader budgetary considerations of the country. The upcoming payments also highlight the importance of intergovernmental cooperation in supporting Canada's seniors. While the CPP is jointly managed by the federal and provincial governments, except for Quebec, which has its own Quebec pension plan, the GIS is a federal program. However, many provinces and territories offer their own supplementary benefits for seniors, which can provide additional support on top of the federal programs. This multi-layered approach to senior support reflects the complex nature of addressing the diverse needs of Canada's aging population. It's also worth considering how these increased payments fit into the broader context of senior care and support in Canada. While financial assistance is crucial, it's just one aspect of ensuring a high quality of life for retirees. Other important factors include access to health care, affordable housing, social programs, and community support services. The financial boost provided by the enhanced CPP and GIS payments can help seniors better access some of these services, but a comprehensive approach to senior well-being requires ongoing attention and investment from all levels of government. The news of these increased payments also serves as an opportunity to reflect on the changing nature of retirement in Canada. Traditional notions of retirement as a complete cessation of work are evolving, with many seniors choosing to remain partially employed or engaged in volunteer activities. The increased financial support from CPP and GIS can provide greater flexibility for seniors to make choices about how they want to spend their retirement years, whether that involves travel, pursuing hobbies, continuing education, or giving back to their communities. For those approaching retirement age, the announcement of these increased payments might influence their decisions about when to start claiming benefits. As mentioned earlier, 
the timing of when one begins to receive CPP can significantly affect the monthly amount. With the potential for higher payments, some individuals might choose to delay starting their CPP to maximize their benefits. However, this decision should be made carefully, taking into account individual health, financial circumstances, and life expectancy. It's also important to consider the tax implications of these increased payments. While the GIS is non-taxable, CPP benefits are considered taxable income. For some seniors, the boost in CPP payments could push them into a higher tax bracket, potentially affecting their overall financial situation. This underscores the importance of comprehensive financial planning and potentially seeking advice from a tax professional to optimize one's retirement income strategy. The upcoming payments also highlight the role of technology in the administration of these crucial programs. Many seniors now have the option to receive their payments through direct deposit, ensuring faster and more secure access to their funds. The government has also been working to improve online services, allowing retirees to more easily check their benefit status, update their information, and access important documents. While these technological advancements can greatly simplify the process for many, it's crucial to ensure that seniors who are less comfortable with digital tools still have accessible alternatives for managing their benefits. As Monday approaches, many Canadian retirees are undoubtedly feeling a sense of anticipation and relief. The increased CPP and GIS payments represent not just a financial boost, but also a reaffirmation of the country's commitment to supporting its senior population. It's a reminder of the social contract that exists between generations, with today's workers contributing to a system that will, in turn, support them in their retirement years. However, it's also important to recognize that these payments, while significant, are not a panacea for all the financial challenges faced by seniors. Issues such as the rising cost of health care, the need for long-term care, and the ongoing affordable housing crisis in many parts of the country continue to present significant challenges. The increased payments should be seen as part of a broader, ongoing effort to address these complex issues and ensure that all Canadian seniors can enjoy a dignified and comfortable retirement. In conclusion, the upcoming $3,300 CPP and $750 GIS payments represent a significant milestone in Canada's ongoing efforts to support its retirees. These increased benefits reflect both the country's commitment to senior well-being and the evolving nature of retirement in the 21 ST century. As Canadian society continues to age, the importance of robust, sustainable retirement income programs will only grow. While challenges remain, the enhanced CPP and GIS payments are a positive step towards ensuring that Canadian seniors have the financial resources they need to enjoy their retirement years. As Monday approaches, many retirees across the country will be watching their bank accounts with anticipation, ready to put these increased funds to good use in supporting their daily lives and pursuing their retirement goals.